This collaboration with the MIT seems like a major step for Bhutan. So what does it really mean for the country's future in technology and innovation? So this partnership with the Center for Bits and Atoms at Massachusetts Institute of Technology uh, with Drug Holding and Investments is on building voxel structure using robotics. So what a voxel means is basically like a Lego block. So you can put it on top of each other or at the side of each other using robots. And the best part is the robots can talk to each other, meaning there can be more than one or even 10, 20 robots that will be placing the voxel. From my perspective, I guess Bhutan has historically always been consuming technology. Number two would be adapting technology and using technology. But then our idea here is how can we build technology in Bhutan. That's why we're partnering with some of the best university in the world, with some of the best researchers in the world. That way we feel like we can develop next generation of technology. So how will this program explore robotics and engineering while blending Bhutanese traditional architecture with modern design and technologies? So the whole idea of the project has always been on using sustainable materials. As I mentioned, we'll be using voxels, but then now we're thinking of uh, uh, using materials that are locally sourced. For example, it could be timber, and we are also trying to see if we can use uh, uh, wooden earth structures. And with that, we want to make sure that we want to involve uh, local architects, local engineers. Of course, the collaboration has just started, but now we're doing an open call for engineers, architects, from within Bhutan and also from abroad and how we can make this project su successful. How is this program going to contribute to the vision of the Galifu Mindfulness City and in advancing the economic development through science, technology and innovation? So this program is very much beneficial to the Galifu Mindfulness City because if we look at GMC, one of the key pillars for GMC is innovation, uh, technology with a focus on preservation of culture and uh, sustainability. So with voxels, there's a very high uh, ambition to use local materials, which can be locally sourced from GMC. And economically, this uh, product has not been tested anywhere outside the world, except for labs at the Center for Bits and Atoms at MIT, but also with NASA and Boeing. But then with GMC, what we bring in the value is how can we construct sustainable buildings or sustainable structures using the knowledge from the people in Bhutan and from GMC in making this uh, possible. So economically, what I feel is uh, if this goes on well, then this can be potentially a product that can be uh, given as a service outside Bhutan as well.